Welcome back to Lavanya's computer classes. In this video, I will explain binary tree traversals. Binary tree traversal. So, what is first traversal? Traversal means traversal is also called as visited. That means in this, all the vertices in a graph is visited once. So that is called as binary tree traversal. So what is traversing means? Traversing tree means visiting each node in a specified order. Visited all the vertices, all the vertices in specified order. Specified order. In a specified order is called as tree traversal. So according to these specified orders, binary tree traversals are divided into three methods. What are the three methods means? Those are, first one is in order tree traversal method, in order tree traversal method. Second one is pre-order, second one is pre-order tree traversal method and the third one is third one is post order tree traversal method so what is tree travel means traversal means visiting each node in a specified order visiting all the vertices in a specified order is called as tree traversal method so how many tree traversal methods we have I mean there are three tree traversal method these are called as tree traversal methods so how many tree traversal methods are there? I mean, there are three tree traversal methods are there. One is in order, pre order and post order. So I will explain what are the these three methods and with explanation. So tree traversal methods. Tree traversal, tree traversal methods. So how many tree traversal methods are there? Means there are three tree traversal methods. One is pre-order, second one is in-order, third one is post-order, post-order. So these tree traversal methods are applicable for binary tree, binary tree. So what is binary tree means here every root node is there. For every root node, we have one left children and we have right children. That's why it is called as binary tree. So this is the left hand side children and this is the right hand side children and this is the root node. So, so binary tree means we have three vertices like root, left and right. So in this binary tree traverse a pre-order. So what is the meaning of pre? Pre means before, in means middle post means after so like this we can find out how we travel the, how can you travel it pre means first beginning so what is the beginning means root is the first root is the first then left and then right because it is a pre order pre means before so which one is first we have to travel means root is the first place then left and right if we coming to in order, in, what is the meaning of in? In means middle. So which one is the middle means root is the middle. Just check it. Root is the middle and left and right there is no change in left and right. Only thing is root is in the middle. That's what it is in order. Then we go for post order. Post. What is the post? Post means last. So which one is the last? Root is the last root is the last and again left and right there is no no change in the order left and right only but root is the last see here pre order pre means first so which one is the first root is the first in order in means middle so which one is the middle root is the middle that's why it is called as in order then travel left and right again recursive procedure same rules is applied for like subtrees also post what is the post means? Post is the last. So which one is the last to have? We have to visit to means root. So like this we can write. Now I will explain simple example for tree traversal method. For example, I will take like this. 
small thing root not there are only two children right left and right the root node is a b and c for the simple tree traversal method i will go for in which one is the in order pre order post order okay no just see what is in order in order means first we have to write left root root is the middle then right so first in this example first to travel left hand side this is the root this is the left hand side this is the right hand side so we travel from left hand side so left hand side how many children are there only one children is there so b so for in order root b left hand side visited is over then go to right hand side because left to root to right to so left is a is over b is over root which one is the root root is a so a so a then which one is the go right side right hand side so right hand side is c so in order travels are b a c first left hand side left hand side children is b then root root is a then right hand side c so b a c is the in order tree traversal for this simple graph now we go for pre order so what is pre order pre order method is first pre means starting so root is in the starting left and then right so first which vertex i have to visit means root node so in this example which one is the root node a so answer is a first you have to write a then we said you have to go to left hand side so which one is the left hand side of this tree the left hand side is b root is over left is over then go to right hand side so what is the right hand side of this tree means the left hand, right hand side of uh, of this tree vertex is c so a b c this is the pre order next go for post order so what is the post order method post means last so which one is the last root is the last root then left and then right so first go to left hand side of this tree which one is the left hand side of this tree left hand side of this tree is b then which side you have to go to you have to go to right hand side the right hand side of this tree is this one is the right hand side c and the last we visit root node that is a so like this we can travel for this simple graph i will explain with one more big example first in this video just to go for what are the tree traversal method tree traversal method means we can move or visit each and every vertex in a specified order so how many specified orders we have what are the tree traversal method mean there are three tree traversal methods are there one is pre order in order post order so pre order pre means beginning in means middle post means last so which one is beginning which one is middle and which one is last means that is root only so a pre order root is the first and don't change the order of left and right just right left to right in order middle is the root node again left to right post order post last last one is the root left and right so these are the three according to that we are taking the example thank you for watching my video in this next uh, video i will explain tree traversal method with one big example if the video i think uh, the video is a uh, very benefit to you if you like this video just please share and like and subscribe my channel thank you i will explain uh, tree traversal method with a full explanation first i will explain pre order traversal pre order traversal methods in the previous class or previous videos i will explain what is binary tree traversal method and how many tree traversal methods there are three tree traversal methods are there one is the pre order second one is in order and third one is the post order in this video i will explain full detailed classification about pre order traversal what is pre order traversal pre means before beginning so which one is the beginning means root is the beginning then left and then right 
so these are the pre-order traversal techniques root left and right so in this pre-order algorithm first i write the algorithm for pre-order algorithm for pre-order in the pre-order what we require means we require data then l for left r for right so what is the first step means first step is we have to visit visit the root node visit the root node this is the first step because data is the first pre-order means first one root is first then traverse then traverse left subtree then traverse left, sub, left subtree of the root left subtree of the root in again pre-order in again pre-order and third step is traverse right traverse right subtree of the root of the root in pre-order because you have to apply the same traversal method in the left hand side and also right hand side so what is a pre-order traversal method method mean this is the first method pre-order means first beginning so which one is beginning means root then left and then right now I will explain a pre-traversal with an example. Just I will take the graph like this. A, B, C, D, E and then F. This is the graph. For this graph I have to traverse, I have to travel in pre-order method. So what is the pre-order method? First we have to write. So what is the pre-order technique? Pre-order technique means first root, then left, then right. So these are the pre-order techniques. So first we wrote starting from the graph. So which one is the root node? This is the root node. So first we write A root. It is completed. Then go to what is the next step after root is completed coming to left hand side. So which one is the left hand side in this graph? This is the left hand side. This is the left subtree. So for this left subtree we again apply same method, same pre-order method. Otherwise if it is for easy we have to take separately also. So what is this here? B. What is this? Left hand side D and right hand side E. For simply understanding purpose I write separately otherwise not necessary. F. This is the subtree. Subgraph of this main graph for left hand side. Again we apply the same method for pre-order method. What is the pre-order method again? Root, left and then right. So what is the root here in this this? This is the root. So again right. So already A is there. Now we go for B. So A, B root is 1. Again go to after root is over then which side we have to go to means left hand side. So coming to left hand side. In the left hand side only one node is there that is the D only. So D is a subgraph. Nothing is there in this. So we just write D only. So B is completed. D is completed. Root is over. Left is over. Then coming to right hand side of this graph. So what is the right hand side? Right hand side only E is there. Right hand set E is there and F is there. Again apply pre-order for this graph. Again root, left and then right. So in this subgraph, which one is the root node? The root node is E. So first visit root node E. So I wrote here. E is the root node. Then travels from left hand side after root is over coming to left hand side. But here no left hand side, so leave it. Then go to right hand side. So which one is there in right hand side? Right hand side is F. So visit the node F. So A, B, D, E, F. So completely for this main diagram, root is completed and right hand side totally, left hand side is totally completed. So root is over, left is over, 
so then what is that right hand side so which one is the right hand side this one move this side so move this side means in the right hand side which node is there only c is there so a b d e f c so this is the pre order method of this entire graph c like this this is the main graph a b c d e right hand side of e is f so pre order traversal means root left right root left right so first visit root so which one is the root node a is the root node so i visited a then go to left hand side so left hand side again one sub tree is there so b d e f again apply the same pre order technique for this sub graph also so again visit root node so which one is the root node b is the root node so right b also then after root is completed go to left hand side so which one is the left hand side of this tree the left hand side of this tree is d so coming to left hand side in the left hand side we again we apply the same technique but here only one node is there so visit that root node d so after that no children so leave it then root is over left is over coming to right hand side right hand side again we have a sub tree so what is this sub tree mean this is the sub tree e and f so for this we again apply pre order so what is the pre order means again root left right so which one is the root node for this sub graph e is the root node so i visited e then go to left hand side but there is no left hand side of this children left no left children so go to right hand side so what is the right hand side children the right hand side children is f so visited f also so for this root is a is over for a left hand side children is completed then go to right hand side so what is the right hand side right hand side children is c so this is a pre order method okay now we'll go for add of pre order technique so what is the add means add means abstract data type abstract data type of pre order we'll explain abstract data type of pre order also so what is here means first data we require left and then right so in this how we write means first if have to check what we have to check if root is not equal to null that means roof contains some elements if it is the null root that means there is no element root is null means there is no element so there is no chance to traverse it so if the root is not null then we apply pre order methods so if root is not null then we have to move c out i will write it in the c++ otherwise go for printf also c out we just to print the root element that means data element then close end all end all means coming to next line after that we apply the same pre order technique for left hand side of the root node so root of l child l child means left hand side and the left hand side child we apply the same method pre order method after left hand side is over we apply the same technique pre order for right hand side child children so root of r child so this is the add of pre order add of pre order means we need three elements data left and right or root also first we check if root is not equal to null then print root then after printing the root go to left hand side children apply the same procedure for pre order after left hand side children is over coming to right hand side children apply the same method of pre order so this is the example for pre order in this video i will explain you know, post order tree traversal methods in the previous order i already explained you know, tree traversal techniques now in this video i will explain full detail with examples of post order tree traversal techniques post order in the name itself it uh, explains post means last last visit the root node first we go to left hand side sub tree then right hand side then last we have to visit root node so this is the order of post order tree traversal techniques now i will explain with small simple example so now i will consider one simple tree 
with only three nodes A, B, C. So A is called as a root node. A to B is the left subtree and A to C is the right hand side. So in the post order traversal, first we travel left hand side. So what is the left hand side children is meant? That is B. After left hand side is completed, then coming to right hand side. The right hand side is also only one node is there, that is C. After that we just write root, that is A. So here B, C, A is the post order traversal result of this graph. Now we will explain algorithm of post order tree traversal technique. Algorithm post order tree traversal technique. For this algorithm we have three stages are there. Three steps we require. One, two, three. First one is traverse left subtree traverse left subtree of the root node left subtree of the root node in post order method that means first to travel left hand side here any subtree is there we apply again post order traversal technique so traverse the left subtree of the root node in post order that is the first step second sub step is go to right hand side that means a traverse right subtree of the root node in post order method then last stage is visit the root node so these are the three steps. First we go to visit left subtree, then visit right subtree, and third one is visit the root node. So this is the, this is the specified order of post order. Left subtree, right subtree, root node. First go to left to right to then root node. Now we will explain with the one example. I consider one tree with some nodes. For this graph, I will explain, for this tree, I will explain how we are traveling in post order technique. So first we write post order technique order. So what is the order? Left subtree, right subtree, then root. So which one is the left subtree? Root is here A. So uh, B side is left and C side is right. So first we travel from left hand side. Left hand side is again A subtree that is B, D, E, we apply post order technique for this left subtree. So in this first go to left. What is the left hand side of this subtree means that is the D, node D. Left hand side one element is there that is D. The left is completed then go to right hand side. The right, side, right hand side element is E. So right E. Then left side is over, right hand side is over, now go to root. So what is the root means? Here in this subtree the root node is B. So I wrote right here B also. So D is the left child, E is the right child and root is B. So left hand side subtree is completed. So after left is completed according to post order, go to right hand side. In the right hand side is also again, right hand side is again, subtree is there. That is C, F, G. Again, apply post order technique. For this subtree, there is no left hand side children. So, then go to right hand side children. The right hand side, again, subtree is there. The upside, right subtree is F and G. Again, we apply post order traversal technique. 
first visit left there is no left child so leave it then go to right hand side the right hand side element is g i write g then root what is the root here f so for this subtree left is over right is over then root so which one is the root node mean that is the c now we just write c c is the root node so the for main tree left hand side is over right hand side is over then compulsory visit root node so what is the root node here the root node is a so this is the post order traversal for this graph d e b g f c a first go to left hand side some subtree is there we apply post order traversal technique for the left hand side subtree that is d e b so left hand side is completed then coming to right hand side e then its root node is b left is completed then coming to right hand side right hand side is again subtree is there again we apply post order traversal technique no left hand side children for the root c then go to right hand side again subtree is there fg no left hand side children so go to right right hand side children is g right hand side children is g then left is over right is over root is f the right subtree of root node is c so left subtree is over right subtree is over the main root is a so i wrote a here so this is the post order traversal technique for this graph now we will explain ADTF post order traversal technique ADT for this ADT post order we need three one is left right then root three values we require so for writing post order tra traversal technique first we check the root is not null if it root is null it is not possible to travel so first find the root is not equal to null if it is s then only start your traveling so we have to go to right uh, left hand side so root of l child left hand side children and apply post order method for left hand side if it is a subtree so post order of root of l child after left child is completed go to right hand side so root of r child and again apply post order traversal technique then visit the root node so post order of root of l child post order of root of r child then root so this is the adt of post order traversal technique post order of root of l child post order of root of r child and visit the root now we'll give one simple example tree try at home and apply in order pre order and post order method all three traversal technique for this and write the answers in the comment box thank so in order algorithm left to data root to so what are the three steps means traverse the left subtree of the root node visit the root node and third one is traverse the right subtree of the root node now we'll explain with some simple example i will take the diagram like this a b c so a to b if you travel from a to b that is called as left subtree if a is the root node a to c is the right subtree okay so now i'll go for in order method so what is the in order method means left hand side subtree then no uh, travel root then travel right subtree okay now i'll go for so left subtree left subtree means travel from root node to left hand side so here left hand side only one node is there so first i write b b is the left hand side of this tree next i travel root so what is here root root is a so i travel 
A, root node is A. Then go to right hand side of this, this tree. So right hand side which node is there? C is there. So travel C also. So for this simple diagram that in order traverse method is B, A, C. Now I will go for one more example. I note down the diagram like this, 3, 1, 2, 7, left hand side is 2, 7, right hand side is 3, 4, 5. Now I will explain with in order method. So what is the in order method means first we go to left hand side, then root, then go to right hand side. Okay. So travel like this, left root to right, start from here. In this, this is the root. What is the left hand side means go to left hand side, last left hand side. So what is the here last left hand side here 7 is there. Go to left hand side means 2 is there. 2 again consider as a subtree. So again apply pre-order method for this subtree also. So what is the in order not pre-order, in order. In order means again left to root to and again right. So again go to left hand side. So what is the left hand side of this tree that is 7. So I write it here 7. So left hand side. After left hand side is over then what is the here root. What is the root of this 7? The root is 2. So in order method left is over, root is over then go to right hand side. But here no right hand side children. So leave it. So for big tree, original tree diagram, left hand side is over. So after left is over, then go to root. So what is the root of this diagram? That is 1. So I write here 1 also. So left side is over, root is over for the main diagram, then coming to right hand side of this diagram. So what is the right hand side? This is the right hand side of original tree, 3, 4, 5. Again we apply the in order method. In order method means again left to row to right. So coming to left hand side. Here in this no left hand side children. So leave it. So then go to root. So what is the root here? The root is 3. So I note down the 3 here. Okay na? Next. After 3 again go to root is over then coming to right hand side. So what is the right hand side sub tree? The right hand side sub tree is this one. 4, 5. So again 4 and 5 is subtree, apply again in order method. So what is the in order method for this one means again go to left hand side but no left hand side for this diagram. So then take root, the root is 4, then again right hand side 5. So this is the in order method, left hand side, root, right hand side. So left hand side means coming to left hand side, the left hand side 2, 7 is there. 27 is again a subtree. Again apply in order method that is left to root to right. Again going to left hand side. Left hand side children is 7. So I wrote 7 here. After left is over then go to root. So which one is the root of this diagram that is 7. So 7 write it here. Left hand side is over then root. Root is 2. 2 is rooted here. Then no right hand side. So leave it. So left hand side is finished mean then coming to root. So what is the root here? 1. So left hand side is over, root is over then coming to right hand side. The right hand side again subtree is there. Again apply subtree in order to traverse method for this subtree. So in this no left hand side children only root is there 3. Right hand side again 4, 5 right hand side apply same thing again no left hand side root is there 4 and again right hand side. So this is the in order traversal algorithm with simple example. Now we will explain ADT. ADT of in order method. So what is ADT? ADT means abstract, abstract data type ADT in order, in order for this we need left hand side data right hand side okay now we'll write the algorithm what is that algorithm means first we have to check it is a binary tree if it is a binary mean, means the root is not at all null if root is not equals to null then apply binary tree traversal methods if it is root is null it is not possible then we go to call 
recursion method what is the recursion method in order in this n order first we have to pre we have to call root of left child because in order means first we go to left hand side then right hand side then only right uh, left hand side root then right hand side so first in order root of left child then we have to print root element c out root element then again we call in order left child is over root is over then compulsory go to right hand side children r child so this is the add of in order method one second i will explain add in order three left to data right first we check the root is not null so if root is not equal to null then first we travel sir in left hand side of the root so in order and again apply in order method that's why in order of root of left child then print root then go to right hand side and right hand side again subtree is there means again calculate in order apply in order method so in order root of right child so this is the add of in order algorithm now i will give you one simple example try at home this is the diagram of like this a b then d e c f and then g so for this diagram for this tree apply in order and do tell me the answer thank you for watching my video if you like this video please like and share this video and subscribe my channel thank you